What I'm going to show you today is our quick cam checker. It basically consists, the heart of it is this little microprocessor with an LCD screen. You don't need a computer, but there is a USB cable adapter here if you want to plug in and download the data to a computer later. And then we have four sensors that are connected to this. First we have the rotary sensor that gives our, our cam and crank degrees. You mount it on anything that turns with the engine, like here we're mounting it on a pulley or on a belt. It could be on a pulley or anything that spins with the engine. Then over here we have our two length sensors that are mounted on the retainer uh, for the intake and the exhaust. And we have a cylinder pressure sensor in the spark plug hole for this particular cylinder. Uh, cylinder pressure is how we figure out TDC and figure out the calibration for our rotary sensor, this little guy over here. So what you do is when you mount the sensors, and then all you do is get the engine cranking, and press the record button. You can see it only took about two or three reps for it to get enough data to do its calculations, but it takes a long time for the calculations because there is a lot of stuff we're doing in there to try and be as precise as possible. And there you can see our intake center line, intake center line. And there's our exhaust center line. And if you want to see more details, you're pressing this button right here. And there you can see we have our intake and exhaust lift and center lines. And there's the events at 50 thou lift. That's on the tappet, even though we're on the retainer, that's on the tappet because the program knows something about the lash and the rocker ratio for this particular engine. So that's uh, our quick cam checker. It makes a very fast, convenient way to get cam data off the cam as it's mounted in the engine. Now you can do the same thing on the stand without it being having a starter. You just uh, bar the engine over, and instead of putting a cylinder pressure sensor uh, in the spark plug hole, you'll put another length sensor on the piston top. So it'll watch the piston go up and down instead of watch the cylinder pressure go up and down.